Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. This is the engineers hub and we're going to have a look at uh, how to simulate logic gates uh, in uh, electronics and see how they behave. And uh, in today's tutorial we're going to look at the AND gate. And this is our AND gate. It's a two input AND gate. Uh, you can see it's a symbol is here. We have input X and Y, and then we have an output uh, and output of Z. The truth table is here, and uh, in our input, when zero stands for low and one stands for high. So when you have a zero zero input, uh, the output should be zero. When you have a zero and one input, the output should be zero. Uh, the input should uh, the output should only be high when the input is one one. So let's get started. We're going to do the simulation uh, using our Proteus uh, EDM. Therefore, we can come here and look for Proteus Professional 8. We open it and have a look at the simulation. What you're going to get here. So we open our new project like this. This new project, you go to next. Okay, project name. Can call it under git simulation. Correct. Go to next. <clears throat> you save it a default. Press next template. Create firmware. Now we don't need a firmware, so next. Then you finish. So here you come to place our components. You start with uh, the AND gate itself. AND gate, of course, simple active double click. One, you need a logic probe. <coughs> you take the bigger one active. Yes, and then finally, our final project is the logic state. Click OK. Then you place your component. The add gate is the first component you place. You can zoom. You press the probe. Like that. In the logic state. OK. You can drag the object. Still drag this object. Drag the object somewhere there. Then you do the wiring of your object. This. Like this. Good. Save the object. So from the truth table, uh, objects are zero, input X and input Y, Z. So you can lab label the inputs uh, for easy understanding. Try to label the inputs from here. This is A. This is B. This Z. Yeah. As simple as A, B, C, D. Drag them. You can drag the objects to where you want to level them. Like that. You control S to save your project. So on simulating, you can see we have an input of zero and an output of zero here. So you go to simulation down here, you simulate. 
you can see this one is simulated, the output is zero. When we change this one to one, the output is still, is still zero. When we, this one at zero, this one at one, the output is zero. But when you change one, one, the output is one. You can see we have confirmed the simulation of this truth table and we are getting the correct results whereby if x and y they have an input of high that is one and one the output is one and this is correct that's how to simulate a and get thank you and see you in the next lessons